Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We did fine on yesterday's run, eventually. Uh, you know what other character we haven't played as yet is Kane. So let's try a Kane hard mode run and remind me to go to the dark room, okay? RL28 7G PG. All right. Those are not. Oh, I almost got hit by that. Thank you for not being a bad trip pill so that I died. Um. I, uh. I like Kane. He's okay. I'm gonna try to go to the dark room. That's nice. I'm a little scared of this pill, but I think I'm gonna take it right away. Infested. I shot all the poop before using it. Or maybe it blew up because of the champion. That's okay then. We can live with that. Harlequin baby in this dickhole item room. I actually kind of like the item room variations and the fact that some of them have a cost associated with them now with the spikes or the, the bombs being placed around. I think I like it, uh, but I will probably stop liking it once it fucks me over on a run once, which is almost guaranteed to happen, uh, you know, given enough time. Thought that might be an explosive uh, diarrhea or something, which could have given us the opportunity to maybe get that rune. How we didn't get hit there is beyond me, but life goes on. Uh, we might be able to buy a spirit heart here. Harlequin baby, by the way. Obviously, I'm not, like, thrilled about its existence or anything like that, but, uh, I'm pretty stoked that we'll at least have the opportunity to get, uh, something out of this floor. It's not just, like, a shitty active item I have no interest in. So we'll get this heart right here. Uh, there was a tinted rock, right? Like, I don't need to necessarily... Yeah, there's a tinted rock right there. Uh, I don't need to necessarily use this bomb to get a rune. I immediately wish that I had not come into this room. Okay, that's fine. You know, life goes on here. I'm assuming that these guys won't be impossible to kill. And Harlequin Baby is actually possibly, like, a better damage dealer on a per-tier basis than me right now. So as long as it's still doing damage, I consider, you know, life to be livable here. I feel like maybe Super Envy's HP got nerfed a little bit or something like that. Like, it doesn't seem that damaging. Or it doesn't seem that, um, that strong relative to the norm. But maybe Kane has a damage bonus or something? I'm not sure. Normally, I would expect this fight to take longer than 30 seconds on a Kane fight with Harlequin Baby and base damage, but... Um, or on a Kane run with Harlequin Baby and base damage. I've been playing so much, like, Rebirth, man. My brain is just fried. <laughs> I'm loving it, but I'm getting to the point where you're like, you know, I think you've had enough, sir, for at least a day or two here. We'll take our, uh, we'll take our Spirit Heart. There's a Red Heart in here that I don't really care about. I think we'll use our Bomb to get this Rune. It's an Ansus rune, which might make it good for uh, a future floor. Not good right now when we don't have any bombs with which to use to access the secret room, but that's okay. Alrighty. Double Monstro. It's floor one. What are we hoping for? DPS. We don't need HP as long as we have the Spirit Heart backing us up. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world that DPS is a little rarer, and thus uh, a little bit more up my alley right now. But we'll, uh... We'll see if we uh, end up making the prophecy come true here. Well, Santa is not really the prophecy coming true, but it's all right anyway. All right. I did miss the half red heart. I don't really care too much about it. We'll head down to the next floor. Still got a full spirit heart backing us up, and definitely no use, no reason to use the Ansu's rune on this floor. Well, Santa has hooked us up a little bit. Just some HP. Don't want to go to the curse room yet. Can't remember if I mentioned that, but the curse room is not in the cards for me right now. In the future, I would love to. We did uh, not become Guppy on our last run, which kind of blew my mind. But we will become Guppy on this run. I, c I probably shouldn't guarantee that right now. I guarantee that if I pick a number between 1 and 10, I will be correct. Ready? 3. I didn't say I'd be correct for everybody. Just a couple of people out there probably did pick 3, though. So I appreciate you making the prophecy come true. Tricked ya. So what I like to do is... Um, you know, every video, I'll be like, yo, all the Dales out there, fuck you. And the reason you say that is not because you actually, like, have somebody named Dale you hate. But so somebody's watching this and they go, oh, man, my name's Dale. What are the odds? Well, the odds are like 100% because I just chose a name. It, it, not a particularly common name these days, I suppose. But, you know, you, you're abusing the law of large numbers to add some emergent gameplay here for your viewing experience. One day it might be your name. Oh, I got to sneeze real bad. Oh, that's a real sneeze. It's gone? I was desperately looking forward to the quote-unquote one-eighth of an orgasm that a sneeze provides. That just means if you sneeze eight times, you come in your pants. I've seen it happen back in medical school. Uh, pardon me. 
I might buy a spirit heart here just to be safe if we had the opportunity to, which we don't. So instead, I will buy the habits. And we will desperately try not to take any more damage. The habit does nothing for us in our current state. There we go. Just why I wanted Harlequin Baby to sneak a shot down there, but either way, I can take it. Hopefully this is not, um... Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a little close. Hopefully this is not, uh, the haunt. Ah, oh, the freaking bee flies! No, 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 no. What are they trying to pull on me here? Where's my placenta payouts? Oh, that, that'll do. We still need to just not get hit, but that'll do. Little Horn, I haven't been hit against Little Horn yet, so if that tells me anything, please don't shoot the fire. That fire's been good to me. That fire had a family, damn it. Um... If this tells me anything, that means I'm going to get hit this time, because this time actually has some consequences associated with it. That's going to extinguish the fire. Almost found our boss room secret room. I'm making a joke that doesn't exist. The joke doesn't exist, nor does that boss room secret room exist. Please, good sir, you are dead. We get Magic 8 Ball, which is pretty terrible, with the moon, which is maybe not as bad, but still pretty bad. Again, missing page two is our item. Uh, basically, this is deal with the devil precedent, the item. It's not good, but it's it, it pays out with an equivalent amount of HP, I suppose, if you wanna if you wanna try to build it up. Have you been to our item room yet? I think we have not, right? Yeah, I'll use a bomb for this. Two of clubs. Might as well, you know what? Let's let's do it simple. We'll blow this up and then use two of clubs. Thought maybe we'd get some extra pots, or maybe a chance at a secret room, or maybe both, but... Come in here, what do we got? Uh, could be worth. I can see forever is fine, one makes you small, don't mind. I can see forever, obviously, like we were going to find our secret room anyway, but... Using the moon card, but I'll, I'll take it nonetheless. Second secret room was a little bit more variable. Have we been to our item room? Am I losing my mind here? Oh, that's, a. Uh... Tinted Rock. Definitely could use that for the next floor. I don't believe we've been to our item room. Curse of the Lost just makes me not believe in myself anymore, man. And that's the most crushing curse of all. <laughs> Couldn't keep a straight face as I finished that one. That's okay. Two key room and item room. If we can buy a key, I'd love to go to both. But obviously, i got to give the item room a little bit of priority here. Now, I'm going to take the opportunity to remind myself as often as possible, we're going to the dark room. So take the negative. Ooh, there we go. Host hat. Nice hat. I got a host hat now. I don't know what it does, but it, it is a nice hat. I don't dispute this. Okay. Well, I don't think the four room does anything for us at this point. Because I have already uh, taken all the items. And I wanted all the items. Honestly, we got Nun's Habit. We got... Uh, ho I mean, I don't know what the host hat does, but we're going to stick with it. And I took the item from the deal with the devil. I took the item from the boss room anyway, so... We're pretty much moving right along. Oh, that's what we were looking for. Second secret room. Sure. Safety scissors. I believe that just makes... Uh, if an enemy spawns bombs, they're just bombs. They're like, they're not... They don't explode. They just becomes bomb, become bombs we can pick up, I think. That's not bad. I'm going to try this. And I'm also going to try that. Our secret room is right there. We got another Ansu rune after using our Ansu rune. That's actually good that we used it there. Weirdly enough, um, this is 15 cents, so let's go to our shop right away. We get fanny pack. I think that an early fanny pack can actually be pretty sweet, so we'll roll with that. Because we don't have a reroll, it's not like we can have really a, a, a well uh, intended priority for like new items. We don't get too many choices of, of when to take old old versus new items unless we have the ability to reroll them. So um, we'll just take an old item here that is still fairly solid. We're gonna try to work our way. This is gonna hurt. This room's gonna suck. I'm trying to work my way over to the um, the boss fight, though, so we can maybe make our black heart last until it can guarantee us a deal with the devil. Obviously, that didn't work out. Life goes on. Uh, let's keep exploring until we can maybe get enough money to buy a spirit heart. As always, if we don't uh, manage to make the spirit heart invincibility last until we fight a boss, it's not the end of the world. So many red chests so far. Health up is great. One makes you small. Getting real freaking tiny here, but that's okay. Um, if, if it doesn't work out for us, life basically goes on. We, uh, 
we're unlikely to get a deal with the devil on this floor regardless because of the fact that we got one on the last floor. So it's just an ideal situation. I gotta admit, this this one makes you small setup is uh, starting to titillate me quite readily, good sir. I find myself not being uh, very large. How did these enemies die? Maybe they just gave up on life to spawn their uh, their minions? I've been there, man. Uh, here in the real world, we call that having kids. Hi, yo! <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't have children. Um, but uh, you know, maybe one day. People keep. You know, that's the thing about being. Oh, I did get hit there. That's the thing about being a content creator. You know, when you're involved in a relationship with someone, which is, if I may be so blunt, that's what marriage is. Um, People always assume, will be like, oh, you know, Kate's sick today, can't do the stream. Everyone's like, she's pregnant! I get that it's a joke, but I also think that, like, the media conditions that. Like, if you you watch, like, a, a sitcom, and then if you ever see a woman throwing up, she's pregnant, man. Because they're like, well, we can't show a woman showing up, or we can't show a woman throwing up on this TV show because girls puking is gross. What if she's pregnant, though? Then it's okay. Pantene is not going to pull its sponsorship for this Modern Family episode. Oh, oh, that was a good dodge there. So I think you know it, it's my duty as an adult, um, as an adult male, doubtlessly a role model for many of you. Uh, I'm I'm half joking there, by the way. Ah, oh, the Forsaken. We like never fight this guy in a boss room. It's always on like a, you know, a weird chest room or something like that. We're fucked for a deal with the devil, by the way. Uh, it's my duty as the father figure in all of your lives to tell you that women sometimes throw up even when they're not pregnant. Sometimes they throw up because, um, you know, they, they're just sick. Sometimes uh, too many, you know, vodka coolers the night before. Sometimes they just do it, um, you know, if the moon's in the right position. Because we all know that the woman's cycle is tied, of course, to the phases of the... Of the lunar, uh, the lunar phases is what I'm trying to say here. We're all very familiar with that from grade nine uh, health class. We are extremely small right now. This is like Harlequin Baby is like ten times bigger than I am. Uh, ten times, obviously, being an exaggeration here, but still. Flooded Caves One. We're way too slow for boss rush. I wouldn't really rely on that uh, being an option for us here. You might say, why use I can see forever? If you've already got access to the secret rooms. Well, basically because Ansus and I can see forever kind of cannibalize one another. So I don't really care uh, which one we use, just that we use one of them. I will come back and do that room. But I want to just come to our item room first. See if there's, oh god, something of value involved there. We've gotten like very, very few, if any actually, damage improvements. So like I'm a little scared about where we stand on this run. We are fast and small, and that's going to make us pretty annoying to deal with uh, if you're the enemies, but I'm not the enemies. I'm me, and it's pretty hard for me to deal with this as well right now. We'll take that key. We're pretty unlikely to need it right now. Should have tried to blow that guy up near these mushrooms up here. And yeah, I, I, instead of taking safety scissors, I'm taking the, the rock that glows when there's other tinted rocks around. Because I, I could use the help in spotting them. Let's be honest about that. Surely this hat is not just a hat, right? Like, there's got to be something I'm missing here. Could walk on that and get, get hurt a couple times. Oh, Cricket's head. So huge. Pretty soon we're going to have tears that are actually larger than our body. And that's going to be a, that's gonna be a wild ride for everybody involved, I think. But for now, we're doing okay. That's not very good. Red chests have been largely okay for us, though. Lots of pills. Lots of one makes you smaller pills. I would settle for one more of those just for absurdity's sake. Man, Bob's curse is like the new Bob's brain. It's uh, just showing up all the flipping time in these red chests. And you're like, oh, I got a golden chest. Oh, it's Bob's brain. Now it's like, oh, I got a red chest. Oh, it's Bob's curse. Oh, well. This is a decent floor for us. We're one floor too slow for boss rush. So that's not going to be something that is uh, in the cards for us, of course. But life goes on. As we head down to the next floor, we'll pop our Ansus rune right away. Really want to try to cement to deal with the devil if possible here. Oh, right, we can't go into that room. It makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, there's a dice room? There's all sorts of weird stuff going on here. 
There's a, a demon judgment room there, so we can definitely find, or a demon judgment arcade, I should say. There's multiple ways for us to get into our boss trap room there. We might as well use I Can See Forever. I mean, we know where the rooms are, but this will save us two bombs. Basically, that was like getting a double bomb drop or something, which is okay. I mean, it's not that good. Maybe we should have saved it for the next floor when we wouldn't know where the secret rooms were, but... I kind of like the idea of using it here, and then we can take something else down to the next floor. Just remember, you know, that space where you're holding things is a resource. You know, you have to manage that resource as well. If this allows us to instead use, you know, a couple of pills that maybe would be advantageous on the next floor too, then that's good. I don't want to use this pill just in case it's bad trip. More like dad trip. <laughs> We're going to see the world's largest Canadian nickel in Sudbury. That's a real thing. Little brimstone, huh? Don't mind if I do. Our secret room has a button and then a bomb. Our shop contains a greed fight. I walked right into that shot. If it was not for one makes you smaller, like five makes you real fucking smaller, we probably would have been hit there. No, uh, no secret, uh, ooh, a lucky penny. Lucky penny. Uh, no, uh, no special, uh, spirit hearts available there, unfortunately. So, uh, we're still in a little bit of a tough position from that standpoint. Probably we'll try to get that. Let's check out our double key room, see what dice it is. I really don't want to reroll our whole run, but I'll tell you what. We should probably try. I don't really want the golden poop either. I like being tiny, but I think we'll still be tiny. I don't love our items except for uh, except for uh, Cricket's Head and Little Brimstone. So I mean, it's not a big deal to to go through this um, as much as I would have originally thought. I really want to maintain the theme of us being a little tiny here, though. Uh, what would be nice is if we could get a spirit heart or a black card to back us up and we're, uh, there we go That's what I'm hoping for and then I want to go to the deal with the devil if we get one on this floor And maybe get a guppy item and then reroll into another guppy item or something like that, you know I don't even know if that's how that works, but I want to give it a, a shot nonetheless And maybe we'll get items here that make us not want to reroll ourselves just because the synergies are cool like I've seen people be like a little mad at me that I'm not using the d100 as much or the d4 as much but the, the truth of it is, those runs are kind of old hat to some extent. If I can just get, like, a good new synergy, I think that's more interesting to watch for now. You know, there's going to be plenty of time for D100 uses later. Uh, we'll totally take range plus tears up. It also gives us hearts, as you can see. And we're going to fight Krampus, which is fine. Then we'll use this pill, and then we'll change our run. Lump of coal is good. Pill was range up. That's all right. We are like, we're extremely tiny. I hope that doesn't change when we go through our, uh, when we go through this uh, one room. I'd be a little disappointed. Hopefully we just get an awesome synergy that makes me, yeah, we're still tiny. Oh God, we got the permanent are you a wizard plus soy milk. This is, it what Lucini pouring from the sky? Let's get rich. What? Okay, but like seriously, uh, are we fucked? We're probably fucked, right? <laughs> this seems really, really bad. When we walk, we like shoot our tears exactly in a perpendicular line to where we're standing. That's scary as heck, man. All right, well let's try to play this Joker. Oh, we got like some kind of transformation here, like. You see, we got like, it's very hard to tell, but we got two heads sticking out of the side of us. Telepills! I didn't notice, thank you for the, thank you for reminding me which, what, which pill we actually took there. I was a little confused when I teleported after I took the pill. Which pill is that? I've forgotten which one does that. Oh my god, there's so many enemies here. The knockback from soy milk is not helping. Some kind of invincibility here. Should have walked to get that key. We didn't. Let's, you know, life goes on. Oh, <sighs> okay. Like ceremonial robes, some form of piercing shots. Hook me up. Hook me up. Pills. Well, we don't have a spacebar item, so it could be worse, I guess. And some of our pills have been kind of funny. I wonder which one I'm thinking of. Oh, good. Butterbean. Even better. Um, new pill. Not worth doing. Full health. Okay, well... That's sweet. The, everything else about this run right now is not so sweet. 
I'm a little frightened about our chance. Oh, we got sad bombs. Sad soy milk bombs. Whoop bum ba dum. Bow. Basically, that fucking is terrible and shitty, and I hate it. Okay. Well, we've uh, we've made this work before. We've made stuff like it work before. Let's try to make it work again. This is not gonna be easy. But Guppy exists and could be useful for us. Here's my new strategy: is like a fucking drive-by soy milk bukkake festival here. The only way I can hit enemies seems to be if I'm moving past them at an incredible speed. Oh, come on. My dog. Talking about my dog. Bark, bark. That's a... Uh, it is what it is. Little Haunt, you are my guardian fucking angel here. So if you... If you fuck up, I'm done, man. I think we will lose this run. This is David and Goliath right here, man. There we go. Just wedge ourselves against the wall so only one of our shots gets through. Oh, lordy, lordy, look who's 40 here. Come on. All right, again. We can kind of augment our shots, get better coverage by moving back and forth. Looks like we got those sweet fucking whips from Iron Man 2 that Mickey Rourke was rocking. Mick, Mickey, okay, it was Mickey Rourke. At first I was like, did I say Mickey Rooney by accident? And then I had a little mental chuckle because I was like, come on, Mickey Rooney's like 100. And then I was like, all right, he died this year. That's sad. So it was like a whole emotional roller coaster I just went through right there for the sake of that joke. But it was worth it, I'd say. Uh, I want you to know every time I use sad bombs, it's not because they're sad bombs. It's because they still explode and deal damage. Were it not for the fact that they have an explosion associated with them, I would never touch them because they fucking suck. Not the sad bombs don't suck. The the sad bombs plus soy milk suck. Usually sad bombs are an exquisite item, uh, like a fine Chianti or something like that. But instead, we find ourselves uh, bereft of damage and as a result, bereft of a, a real use for sad bombs. You know what would be really the best for us here is if I could actually pick up another dice room. Because that one fucked us. The universal lion's law of if you reroll your run, you're going to get soy milk still applies. On the bright side, we do have the relic. This should be good, yeah. Super tiny room as super tiny me with the are you a wizard soy milk combination. Exquisite. One, yep. There's no way we're not taking it. We'll get as small as the game lets us. So this is our first boss, but there, there are two bosses here. So I would, did that bomb do as much damage as it looked like it did? This is actually surprisingly good. Even the tears from the sad bombs are surprisingly okay. Uh, I mean, I botched like half of those bombs, but still. Torn photo. Well, you know what I was thinking just a second ago is I could really use more tears on this run. I was like, man, we're not just like not quite fast enough on the rate of fire. Our damage is good, but I could really use like more rate of fire. I'm being sarcastic, of course. This is, you know, the one thing you don't need on a soy milk run is more damage, but here we are. If you get Are You a Wizard on this run, it should make it so that your tears straighten out. What do you think about that, Tyrone? I mean, I, I still want to blow these up. We, oh, 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 what? I think that's great, but I don't know. Does it synergize? I mean, they're not going anywhere after they land. Also, I'm like, I'm real tiny. I'm exceptionally tiny here. I can't stress this enough. Beautiful. Is, I'm just like a speck of fucking dust. And still these guys manage to hit me. Little haunt, I need you. Like water, like air, like rain. I need you like uh, mercy from heaven's gates. There's a feeling in your heart that'll carry you through. I need you. Da 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 da. That's, that's what my go-to karaoke song. I Need You by Leanne Rimes. And people are like, whoa. I didn't know Leanne Rimes was a bald dude from Canada. And then I go, surprise. 
She isn't. And then they go, what? Excuse me. Um, I'm going to need you to... Don't make me plug in my other controller. Y'all, Brother Bobby got the job done. Thank you. Any any century now will be done with this. Sometimes I'm so small I actually lose track of where I am. Uh, it's it's very disorienting. Doesn't seem to bother the enemies as much as it bothers me. You know, just blanket the screen with these soy milk shots. I I feel like we're super fucked. Oh, good, a range upgrade. It might actually not be bad, but it's also. Oh my lord, what is this now? Good God. I have no idea, but I'm... You know, if we're going to have a weird run, I'm excited that we get to keep having um, these weird synergies that uh, make it at least sillier, if not necessarily better. But I don't think it's making it any worse. Like, I think it's doing some cool stuff for us. I, it, honestly, this might... Oh, yeah, exactly what we needed. This might be making it a lot better. I don't really feel like I need the blue map. I'd rather just leave. Uh, sure, let's go fight Mom. I feel like we've, we've been to both item rooms. We've been to the shop. It's about as good as it's going to get. You make some beautiful double helixes here. Double helices. Let's not get into that again. Okay. Lost myself a little bit there. I love that we got BFF. So now I'm about four times smaller than uh, the enemies, or not the enemies, but my familiars. Never would, never would I ever call them enemies. And let's remind ourselves, this is not a run where we can rely on the beauty of the chest to carry us through. Instead, we're going for the dark room. You thought I was going to forget, didn't you? I have had worse damage than this. But I would kill for a deal with the devil, man. I just wanted to blow up like any rocks at all. That was pretty good. Yo, my dog. That's okay. That might have been the most damage we've ever done. I turned him into I have I have 30 touch. That's extremely valuable information. Now when I have invincibility, which I seem to get on the regular, I can just walk into enemies. I can't see what's happening. I, like, more accurately, I can see it. My brain doesn't know how to put it in a useful format for me to understand. I know that I am my brain. You know, you know the brain named itself, dog. But, um... I, I, I can see myself, but I can't... At least not quickly can I put that into uh, usable feedback. We did it. We gotta deal with the devil as well. Okay, take the negative. That's step one of not fucking this up royally. Uh, obviously, we have to take this. So this is where I'll take a moment, if you're watching, and say if you're... Uh... Oh, that's pretty sweet, too. If you're worried about photosensitivity, if you find yourself being photosensitive, you might want to stop watching. Because there's about to be a lot of flashing lights on the screen, and I would feel terrible if, uh, if something happened to you as a result of that. So be careful about that. I'm also taking Judas a shadow just so we can get stronger. But yes, things there's about to be a lot of flashing lights on the screen. Uh, be be wary of this, if if that's the kind of thing that bothers you. And if uh, if that flashing lights warning bugs a thousand people to help one person out, oh lord, then uh, then that's good in my books. Did we get hit there? I don't think we got hit there. Another tier is up. So, are sad bombs now just insanely overpowered for me? I, I can't hit anything. I can hit everything, but I can't hit anything. If I need to hit something, it's almost impossible. And if I go, there will be trouble. If I stay, it's gonna be double. I feel like a single sad bomb... Put down right at the start of the, a boss fight. Could do wonders for us. Good God. Finally. Holy Christ. 
So in this rare situation, I will use two bombs. Do we have rubber cement as well? To get four bombs. And I'm happy to have done so. This is not a proper way for us to go, though. I also can't shake the feeling that I keep getting smaller. We did get hit, but we have turdy touch, so walk into enemies after you get hit. I, I love walking forward for a second when you start a room, and then just immediately walking back and letting loose. Like, it, it puts the, the multi-dimensional baby just in front of us. Oh, come on. So that I can actually hit things with the... Oh, we'll open it. We got a golden key. Oh, that can be very useful. Starting to adjust to my new way of life here. Easy. Oh, man. We actually found our... Our deal, too. Basically, my life right now is just put as many of these soy milk shots on the screen as I can. I did get hit. We got a spirit heart. I don't feel good about the damage, but I don't feel that bad. That is important as well. Okay, let's test our... Um, let's test our theory against Conquest. It did not work very well. Let's try it again. And again. Using a lot of bombs, but it also means that I don't have to fight Conquest, which is pretty huge for me. That was a much better one. I didn't even see that happening. I have no idea where I am. Um, I do have Dark Judas respawns coming in. And I will take White Pony, actually. How could I not? No, deal with the devil. Disappointing. Well, we're down to the next floor anyway. Now that I can kind of hide, I think I might be in a slightly better position. But let's be honest, I don't know. I'm very glad, in a way, that we're not going to be able to fight the uh, the hush on this run. Okay, we got to do this properly. We got to stand in a position that allows us to actually do damage against these guys. Very, very strange run. Are there not, like, pins or something here? Oh, what the <laughs> Polycephalus, what the heck, bro? What? That was incredible damage on his part. Yes. Oh my god, he's the greatest boss of all time. Oh, those extra bombs. Thank you, contract from below. Just throw one of them down right here. That was well worth the cost of doing business. Thank God for the relic. Thank God for many, many things right now. Thank God for sad bombs. It The sad bombs with soy milk are actually getting it done. They're not as good as some sad bombs we've had before, but they're they're doing something, and I appreciate that. I Let's do it. Much better. Okay, fantastic. Well, let's be honest. This is why you're watching at this point, probably. There is a tinted rock there. I need the spirit hearts. I'm not taking the lazy worm. It just makes your shot speed lower. Which, at this point, I don't really know what we'd be looking for from that. I think hookworm might lower our shot speed, or at least our range as well. But that might, I don't know, even be a good thing at this point. Only one sad bomb left, so I'm going to try to... Hold off on it. I'm very confused. My head feels a little strange. But we are actually making HP here. Which is a little bit absurd. Gotta kill the corn spawners. I don't see tinted rocks. We're doing, like, not an insignificant amount of damage. I really should not have uh, tried to walk through that red poop, even though it was deceased, seemingly so. Bad idea on my part. Get away from me! Give me back my son! I just wanted to try it, you know. One day, I'll be the Harrison Ford of my generation. Ch 
Chewie. We're home. Yeah, it's, I'm working on it. I actually, I'm gonna play Harrison Ford in the biopic of his life. And you're gonna say, Harrison Ford isn't bald. And I'm gonna say, Harrison Ford isn't bald yet. He's still, he, the most uh, important accomplishments of his life are yet to come. And those are gonna be steeped in baldness. Wait until he plays Han Bolo. I'm not hitting this enemy. This enemy that you may know as Mom's Heart. I don't know if I actually need to drop Hookworm to kill Mom's Heart. I'd rather not because I'm having a silly time here. I guess we could just wait for Little Haunt to get the job done. Certainly the most bizarre synergy that I've had. Also, like, kind of the worst. But it's sort of working. Oh, we could get a deal with the devil here as well. Please, help me, help me. Oh, a deal with the devil. What is this? Free items, I hope. Pandora's box. Oh, can I do it? Give up the ability to fly for Pan... <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Pandora's box is never good after this point unless you're going to the cathedral. But we're going to the dark room. There we go. We got the Bible out of it. That's... Oh, Jesus. I forgot we were fighting, uh, we were fighting Satan on this one. Hoi! I can't believe of all runs, this is the one where I remember to go to the dark room. I, as long as we keep getting HP, I'm okay with this. We have no bombs with which to access the secret room. I think we really need to get these shots going through that trans-dimensional baby uh, setup. Because it's, um, I think it's giving them more shot speed. I, which means I've got to spend more time on the interior of the level. Because otherwise, if I'm just going around the edges, I'm never getting a chance to get in that hitbox, you know? I think it's sadly time to say goodbye to Hookworm. And I wouldn't be doing this unless it was fucking absolutely goddamn essential. Which I really think that it is uh, for us to have a chance to win. Hey everybody, it's your boy Northern Lion, just reminding you that any enemy that can go invisible is a piece of shit. Stay in school, kids. Uh, no bombs again, so we can't do anything there. Uh, I mean, maybe we want to open that, but I don't really want to open myself up to extra fights at this point in my life. Have you noticed uh, that I'm quite small? I haven't talked about it that much recently, but I'm uh, like extremely tiny right now. I'm like a real tiny, tiny dude. Tiny dude, tiny dude, defining characteristic, he's a tiny dude. Is he large? Not at all. He is a tiny dude, look out. Historically tiny dude. That was not worth uh, two hits of damage there. I thought I would get away with just the one. Is he small? Listen, bud. The name of the song is Tiny Dude. You can just do the math, he's pretty small, don't lose him in the bath, look out, it's one of the defining moments from the start of the film, Ant-Man. I, I really feel like I'm tricking myself into thinking that I'm doing any damage here, and it's actually just Little Haunt. Oh, that's the real shit right there, though. Oh, Lord, can't get hit twice like that. Little Haunt, please, thank you. Oh my god, I don't know if Dark Judas is gonna be enough on this run. There's our boss fight, fucking hilarious. Well, first we gotta beat, uh... We gotta beat Satan. Can we do this? Possibly? Okay, so let's check this out. Leave the baby. Drop the bomb. It's genius! I think we want to use our other bomb on the uh, on the second phase. 
My reasoning behind that is that on the third phase, we can survive just by dodging and still probably hit more reliably. Okay, there you go. Baby! I fucked it! Baby, I fucked it. That, I mean, you gotta put it in that. It's, we're talking about baby as a, like a pet name, not a literal baby. That would be actually disgusting. Please, drop more spirit arts! Oh, I didn't get hit. Oh, drop more spirit arts! Give me a brief period of invincibility! I, what? I lived? Oh, what? Okay, okay. Little Haunt, you're my boy, you know that? What up, it's your boy Little Haunt, reminding you the enemies that are invisible are pieces of shit. Oh! Okay. Don't get hit. This is gonna be easier said than done against these fucking bomb flies, dog. This is just exquisite so far. What's your over-under on the amount of centuries it takes to finish this fight? I touched the, the thing and I didn't die. That's like the life story of an electrician. I have no idea what's happening. We have been chosen to live and to lead and uh, I'm not gonna fly in the face of that of that decree. We are the chosen one. We are we are the youth of the nation. Oh, what? He stomped me. Straight up. Um, we're probably fucked. Let's be honest. This is where we're most likely to die. But we do have double damage now from Dark Judas. Holy shit. We can also get hit twice. Don't forget about that little beauty right there. Almost through phase one. Phase one is going to be much worse because there's no beautiful sad bomb for us to throw down. Uh, but I think the other phases should be a lot faster. And I didn't get hit there. Holy shit. Not being able to see yourself? Oh, that's real dumb. Not being able to see yourself is a surprising uh, penalty here. Brimstone lasers are gonna be like the worst thing in the world for us. Yeah, we've been hit, but we lived somehow. Uh, now we are dead. This run was not destined to succeed, but it sure was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, of course. Subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.